So, Bismillah Kumar Him, today we are discussing about pharmacotherapy of fungal infections. So, you, you are very aware of this fungal infections. So, just we can see in next slide what is there. You can see these are various type of isolation of fungals. There is a filamentous fungi. There is a The dimorphic fungi is there. Yeast. As I already asked you, that yeast are there. These are various fungus. So just to tell you about the classification of different fungus, how they are, and how they are grown in a lab on different media, you can see. You most have seen in, in your home when there is a rotten bread. You see there's a black spot over there. They're also fungus. So what they have to do? So if you go through my, mycology, that subject is known as to learn more fungus is a mycology. So if morphology is there, it is a pathogenic fungi that infect humans. Uh, mostly they are non-motile eukaryotes that reproduce by sporulations and they exist in two forms, filamentous molds and unicellular yeast. These forms are not mutually exclusive and depending on the growth conditions, a fungus may exist in one or even both of these forms. You can see in this table, you are, see the table, there are the organism classifications. Hyphae is there, molds, dimorphic fungi is there, and yeast. As I've shown you in, in previous slides, the three types molds, fungi and yeast, they are all known as a fungus. So they are further, they have different species in these classes. You can see these hyphae, what it contains, dimorphic fungi, what it contains, yeast, what they contain. So when there's a the disease, they mostly proteinia on hairs, derma, dermatophytoses, they are also known as. When they grow on the skin, they are known dermatophytes. So dermatophytes are fungi that require keratin. It's mostly for growth. Mostly you use various type of shampoos and this time they contain keratin. So when there is a keratin, there are chances of growth of fungus. These fungi can cause superficial infection of the skin, hair and nails, whatever you can see in further slides. Tinea beads or nails, you can see the, on, the, on the left side. Tinea menums, you can see on the right side the different type of fungal infections. Ali has changed the name. Now it's Ali Diary, that's why I couldn't recognize. So further you can see in slide subjects, Tinea curis is there. Tinea facialis is there. You can see different type of fungal is growth of the skin. Then Tinea carporis is seen. Then Majuchi granuloma is, is seen, different type of skin over the body. Using tinea and gum is seen on nails. Tinea barbe is seen over there. See over the, I think, chin or face over there is the candidiasis. Candidiasis, you can see in, there's on tongue, mouth, nail, different type of candidiasis is there. <coughs> Candidiasis is a fungal infection due to any type of candida, a type of yeast. When it affects the mouth, it is commonly called thrush. Sinus symptoms include white patches on the tongue or other areas or the mouth and throat. So other symptoms there may include soreness and problems swelling when they're in a mouth. 
When it affects the vagina, it is commonly called as a yeast infection. Signs and symptoms include genital itching, burning, sometimes a white cottage cheese, just like discharge from the vagina. Yeast infection of penis are less common and typically present with an itchy rash over there. Then you can see terraces, cicloris, there's on the skin, different patches, whiteness is seen. These are all type of, different type of fungal infections. So what are the mostly causes of this? So due to increased number of immunocompromised patients, use of invasive devices, and an aging patient's population, fungal infections are the fourth most common nosocomial infection. Yeast infections are generally easier to treat than mold infections. However, mortality is still significant for both types of infections, even when treated appropriate, appropriately. Most common risk factors for acquiring mycotic infections include immunocompromised host, use of broad spectrum antibacterials, and a breakdown of physical barrier, including invasive so diagnostic tools, that is serum, glacto, menon or beta glucan has to be used as monitoring parameters for therapeutic outcome assessments. Infected Disease Society of America and the mycosis study group are important sources for guideline and evidence-based approaches to therapy. Now in European country, every disease have their society. They, most, they usually give the various SOPs for guidelines to treat that one. The rheumatophyte infection is most commonly associated with tinea species and the most effective antifungal agent includes itraconazole and terribina fine. So what they use for tinea species, itraconazole and very been fine. Sporothrix is one of the most common fungal pathogens associated with subcutaneous infections and amphotericin and intraconazole are useful treatment for sporothrix. Candida represents the most common cause of systematic fungal infections in hospitalized patients. Candidemia must be treated properly and appropriately. Now, delay in treatment or failure to adhere to IDSA guidelines results in a significant increase in mortality. So therefore, fluconazole and acunocandines are the most recommended therapies for this is disseminated candidiasis. So this, this another one is this, like you know, can dines is a, a newer drugs as compared to fluconazoles. Fluconazole, although reliable against C. albicans, is less reliable against certain non albicans candida species including candida glabrata and candida Cruzy. Conventional amphotericin is associated with significant infusion related adverse if events. They may cause nephrotoxicity and electrolyte abnormalities. Consequences other agents, including lipid based amphotericin, triazoles, echinocandines, are drugs of choice for most deep seated fungal infections. In patients with yeast identified in urine, selection of drug therapy for a simple candiduria versus organ infection as a result of disseminated candidiasis is complicated by difficulty with diagnostics. A blastomycosis, histoplasmosis, 
and exudia this are associated with endemic from infections from specific geographical areas now long term treatment with colines and or ozol antifungals is useful in the management of these diseases aspergillus is the most significant fungal pathogen associated with severely in immuno compromised patients aggressive immediate treatment with chloroquinazole alone or in combination with other antifungal is the most effective therapy of disseminated disease cryptococcus no formans is associated with opportunistic infections particularly in acquired immuno deficiency syndrome and the central nervous system is a common site of infections initial treatment of meningitis in aids should include amphotericin plus flu cytosine followed by long term flu conazole you can see clinical classification of mycosis over here superficial you can find site of infection out outer most skin and hair is an example is melasiasis then cutaneous deep epidermis and nails subcutaneous dermis and sub tissues systematic disease of more than one internal organ then opportunistic you can say the candidiasis crypto coxosis as regulosis mycormycosis histoplasmosis blastomycosis coxidio do mycosis these examples of different type of clinical classification of mycosis over there the best drugs which are used you may know these drugs are available in different other farms amphotericin b that can be used for intravenous and be some amphotericin b generic any the fungin gaspa fungin fluconazole fluorocytosine grasofulvin etraconazole etraconazole mycofungin osaconazole potassium iodide terbina fine oriconazole so you can find various type of antifungal drugs in different other farms how many have heard the name of these drugs anyone can tell me have you heard any name from this list who will tell me about this yes sir but any name gonna... have you any and have you any experience of these drugs mm, yes sir which one mm, fluconazole and mostly widely that grasofilvin used mostly as a oral suspension of mostly it was a older drug that grasofilvin over there so the different type of these antifungal drugs are used then another one mostly topical class drugs are amphotericin b can be available in creams lotions ointments oral suspensions botanofen available in creams butaconazole and a vaginal cream is available cyclo pirox fluconil quinols clotrimazole iconazole ketoconazole myconazole out of this i think uh, this nisrol nisrol is available in pakistan this form is i have seen this and this 
లోటరీ మజ్ లోటరీ మజ్ అవైలబుల్ క్రీమ్ లోషన్ లోజెంజెస్ లోజెంజెస్ నాట్ అవైలబుల్ ఇన్ పాకిస్తాన్ సొల్యూషన్స్ టాబ్లెట్స్ దీస్ ఆర్ లోటరీ మజోల్ అండ్ అనదర్ వన్ ఇస్ కిటోకోనజోల్స్ ఎస్టిల్ యు కెన్ ఫైండ్ దిస్ బ్రాండ్స్ అవైలబుల్ ఇన్ పాకిస్తాన్ ఆల్సో ఎంఫోటెరసిన్ ఇస్ నౌ అవైలబుల్ ఇన్ ఇంజెక్టివ్ ఫామ్ ఆల్సో బట్ ఐ హావ్ నాట్ సీన్ క్రీమ్ లోషన్ ఆఫ్ ఎంఫోటెరసిన్ బి then nifty fine is there nistatin is there for oral mostly for oral uh, fungal nistatin is used tablets and mouthwash whatever it is oxyconazole is there cream and lotion is there covid iodine uh, is available uh, aerosols douches gel for most in our country only powder so uh, that uh, which has to be for washing is available and wash or or for scrub covidin for scrub is available i have not seen aerosols which is antimicrobial of covidin or only for scrub sodium thiosulfate yes it is available sulconazole terbinafine tariconazole tioconazole clonfate and the cyclinic acid so the powders these are various other forms you can see over there are available in as antifungal wherever they requires that those form is also available different type of creams is there aerosols is there douches is there powder is there so whatever the requirement you can the patient can apply from this list available antifungal drugs <clears throat> 